Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome back to another YouTube video here on my channel. My name is Jack or Jack Cole. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make a YouTube video intro for free in 2017 with absolutely no software or programs needed. That is right. Of course, no software and programs needed is a, a kind of a, a huge plus to anybody who maybe doesn't have the skill set required or the programs required to actually put together a professional YouTube intro and this is a very very cool website where you can actually go on and create and tweak um, a variety of different templates obviously you can pick one that you actually personally like yourself and it's gonna be the one that you're gonna go with and overall it just makes the intro making process a lot simpler and a lot more um, uh, accessible to everybody who maybe like I said uh, didn't have the skill set or the programs required so without further ado let's jump into how to make a free YouTube intro in 2017 with no program or software needed. In today's video, we are talking about Panzoid.com. Panzoid.com is an amazing website where you can actually go here and find a variety of different templates. So we've got Epic Smoke Intro. I assume we can kind of watch these and see how they are, uh, how they kind of make. So if we open this one in Clip Maker, for example, this will just be an example. Whoa. Cool, I'm not really sure that's a little bit intense, you know what I mean? We definitely have to find someone, uh, one of these that's much nicer. But basically, you get the gist of it, okay? These are, uh, this is pretty much a space where you have a uh, vast variety of different templates to choose from. And you can pretty much choose a template and then customize it within its own online video editor and online kind of um, animator that they have just built into the panzoid.com website. And there's loads of different stuff. Obviously, there's some 2D stuff, some 3D stuff. Very cool adaption of the universal intro right there. So that's a, obviously really, really cool. If we click that, I'm definitely going to need to turn down my audio because that was just very intense when I played that. But obviously, if we play it here... Cool. It starts bringing in the um, <laughs> the universal thing of a jig, the universal text, and obviously the the thing about these templates right here, right, is is obviously it is a template. So, with the stuff here, you can of course insert your own text, or I, I would imagine we just have to figure all this out. But right here is obviously all your different templates and stuff like that that you can scroll through. I actually want to go back to the universal one back there. My bad. I, I clicked the wrong thing. Right here is all your various different templates. Obviously, we have um, not even a template loaded because it has gotten rid of the um, of the universal one. I, I want to bring it back in just to test it because I, I kind of like the universal one. It's pretty cool over here. And basically, once you've actually selected yourself a template, okay, and you can clearly um, play it by pressing space, obviously, or by going down here. And this is the editor view right here, okay? So, obviously, um, this is the editor view. You, you can go in and out, scroll in, scroll out. But to see it in the actual render view, you go to this little guy down here, which is the eyeball in the bottom left. And it says toggle render preview. So now if we click that and now play, it will play the actual um, real render, what it will look like basically when you save it. So obviously now there's a set camera pattern and everything like that. Looks definitely really nice. Not the most professional thing in the world, but you know what I mean? It, it's definitely cool and um, is definitely good if you guys don't even have any means of making a video uh, intro at all. So now I'll move on to actually how you're going to go ahead and customize this stuff, right? So here obviously is some universal text, but we don't want it to say universal. Personally, my channel is called It's Jack Cole. I want my text to say Jack uh, on the text as well. You know what I mean? So the way we would do that is by going over to our tools over here, right? I'm not too sure what all of them do, but you could definitely explore that and mess around with it. I know you can obviously add music and stuff like that and sound effects, but you want to go over to object, right? And Find the text that says universal or whatever whatever text it says on the template that you have particularly chosen. Click it and then it will pop up down here allowing you to change it. So it looks like there's three different little uh, mini layers to this. You see there's like a yellow, a white, and then another white. So I, I think I'm going to copy my name, right? But if I put my name, yep, basically you need to change the text on all of the, uh, the various different layers. So if you have some text that is um, like three different layers, for example, like this. Now, when we actually play it after I've changed all the text, now Universal has changed to Jack. Boom. And it's going to be coming out very, very cool. 
and then obviously once you've done that um you can obviously just go ahead and go down to the the save thing down here go ahead and select what you want to save it as okay so save it as the mkv or um a web m go ahead and start the render and um I, I, obviously it looks like right here there's going to be a little process while it actually figures out the render time time left is three minutes so it is going to be doing stuff legit like an uh, like an actual program would be doing and actually going to be rendering your video now once this video renders um, I'm gonna come back have a little look at it and then maybe we'll go ahead and just spend a little time making a couple other ones uh, just so you really have the idea of how to do this stuff but I just wanted to get one quick creation out the way so you guys can see really quickly how it's done I'm gonna come back in one minute when this is done boom download the video let's see what this does download boom now it has appeared but apparently WKV is not a file format that is that supported my bad guys I was actually tripping for a sec I totally forgot to mention that um, these video files obviously are not gonna come as just a standard video file like a mob or an mp4 or whatever all because they're not put together through a traditional video editor they are gonna be uh, they're gonna come as a web.m file or whatever the other file that they gave you an option to render as I think it was MKV or something like that either way these files are not traditional video files so the way that you're actually going to, uh, to convert this to a regular video file is run it through a converter I would suggest using Handbrake, very very good, free as well. I will leave a link to Handbrake down below and a link to Panzoid.com, of course the free video intro creator down below as well. Um, I just ran the uh, the the file, the web.m file that this was through the uh, through. I just ran it straight through Handbrake, and now obviously as you can see, boom! Oh my bad, wrong screen. The intro has been rendered and is going to come up oh jesus that looks fucking awful awful quality because it was a glitch it was a glitch you see it just changed it was a glitch people don't worry there you go it's all good it was 100 percent a glitch and boom that right there is it guys but um just while i was messing around with that i found a stranger things template but hold on i i, I need to call my homie back yo what's up bro so pretty much Stranger Things is obviously a pretty big uh, TV show going on at the moment. Massively popular across the world. So I thought now that I've shown you how to finalize your intro using Handbrake, which like I said, I'll link below. Uh, now I want to just simply go through one more template and I lost it. Opening Clip Maker. You best be opening Clip Maker. So I like the look of this. Obviously this right here, if we just play the regular rendered version, is literally just straight up the Stranger Things out uh, intro rather where it just runs past each bit of the text and then comes out to show all of the text very very cool and funny enough I've actually seen um, what's called tutorials on YouTube of people showing this exact template and saying how you can create the Stranger Things intro which basically thinking about it I never clicked on the tutorial but they were just using this website probably because it looked goddamn identical to this goddamn template right here but very very cool i'm just literally going to run through the process of changing this so say i wanted to just change the top word stranger to jack take away the things i'm simply gonna go ahead and have to change the s right here to a j boom but that doesn't actually do anything god damn it you have to ah uh, double change it don't you of course you do oh god damn it and i've already started doing it in lowercase so i'm, I'm just gonna keep it going in lowercase screw it right hey i'm deleting everything else ready boom Boom, 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 boom. Now it's just Jack. That's way better than saying Stranger Things, man. I swear, look at this. So we'll start it from here. Uh-oh, let's have a look, let's have a look. Jeez, too good. It's too heavy. I can't even believe it. I can't, pff, couldn't lift this, man. Way too heavy. Are you kidding me? Jeez, damn. And you get all that for free? Obviously, as you, as you can see, guys, um, there's a load of different uh, templates you can choose. Huge variety looks like there's kind of like an it one right there really really creative templates um, So people definitely put a lot of time into this stuff right here and um, Just very very cool. Look at this one right here. Damn. That is dope. Look at that Damn Whoa Whoa Jeez Are you kidding me? That's actually that's the coolest one right there. I, I actually can't even lie. That's heavy as fuck. What? Damn um, I think that's pretty good uh, way to end pretty natural reaction. I actually think that's sick I'm gonna probably have to re-render this 
and it's gonna say Jack as well. But <laughs> thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'm a Jack or a Jack Cole, if you hadn't already guessed by me putting Jack on all these goddamn intros. Um, if you enjoyed this video and want more like it, subscribe. I put mon uh, videos out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I'm just gonna walk behind my camera now and turn it off.